Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Fred and Danger. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Danger's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we are working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he's gonna keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Danger's been fitted with his own personal training collar and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Danger is seated very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first command they're gonna demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. And Fred and Danger are taking off doing that now. The command you wanna use is Danger Heal or Danger Al Talon. He responds to both. And we've also incorporated an automatic sit, as you see right there. Anytime Fred stops his feet, Danger will sit. We use sit and we use Sienta say. And danger responds to both. There's another automatic sit there. It's important when you're teaching the dog in multiple languages that you're very consistent with your words and with your hand motions. Always use your hand motions. The next exercise they're going to demonstrate is the stay command. The stay is a hand and voice command. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm about an inch or so from danger's muzzle and the one word command to stay or in Spanish, espere. Just make sure you use that hand signal and either stay or espere. It's a great command to help build self-control in danger. You want to start at about a minute and work your way up in increments to about three minutes. And when Fred returns back to danger, he's going to walk all the way around him, providing an added distraction as he goes behind him, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. Danger remains seated throughout. Fred gives him a little praise and they take off healing again. We'll show you some more of the heel, the sit, and the stay. There's an automatic sit there. And another sit. Gives him the stay again. Now to the end of the training leash. And this time he'll demonstrate the recall or the come command. You call him in using his name and a nice voice. He comes in, sits nicely right in front of you. And then we have an exercise called the finish, where danger heels around the back of Fred, right back to that left-hand side heel position. Demonstrate it one more time. Leave him in the stay, or the espere, out to the end of the training leash. Call him in using his name, danger come, or danger veniki is what I've been using. And then you can heal him around the back and right back to that left hand side heel position. And he sits nicely, waiting for another command, and they take off healing again. You should practice all your commands about 15 to 20 minutes a day to keep them fresh in danger's mind. You can practice inside, outside, and incorporate them into your daily routine. Now we're going to demonstrate the down commands. The first is down from a heel position. Fred's going to use the open flat of his palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down or abajo. Danger will respond to both. Just make sure you use the hand, hand signal as well. He then gives him a stay and back out to the end of the training leash. It's another great exercise to build self-control in danger. You want to start this one at about three minutes and work your way up to about five. And when Fred returns back to danger, he's going to walk all the way around him as he did on the sit stay and right back to that left hand side heel position. Danger remains down throughout and they're going to take off healing again. We'll show you that down one more time. And danger is doing beautifully, but if for any reason he does not respond to one of your commands, the first word out of your mouth should be no, followed by a tug and let go correction, and then you repeat your command. Gives him the down or a bajo again, and a stay or a spare, and out to the end of the training leash. And this time he'll demonstrate that recall or come command again, or veniki. Come in, it sits nicely right in front, and then you're going to el talon or heel him around the back, and right back to your left hand side heel position. And he sits beautifully, and they take off healing again. We'll give them a second to get lined up for our final command, which will be down from a distance. You're also going to use a bajo for this one, just from a distance. It's 
It's going to leave him in a sit stay and walk out to the end of the training leash. It's the only time he's going to use his right hand to give the command. You're going to go right down to the ground with your right oh. hand. Oh, he broke the command. No. Correction. Repeat the command. And down or abajo from the end of the training leash. And he went right down. And then Fred returns back to him again by walking all the way around and right back to that left hand side heel position. Those are the commands we've been using in English and Spanish with Danger. We've demonstrated them all for you, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog.